Um, but could we get your card, though? No, you can't. You can just say you visited the FBI at, in the St. Cloud office and presented the information. Do you have a name? Yes. Can we get your name? You can say you talked to the duty agent at the St. Cloud FBI office. Okay, September 22nd, 2016, I'm here speaking with D.D. Evavold. Uh, D.D. Evavold is part of a high-profile uh, criminal case. Uh, Sandra Cruzini Rucky was just convicted, uh, she was just sentenced yesterday, September 21st, 2016. And D.D., you have your trial when now? September 26th, Monday. Okay, and uh, what were you doing today to prepare for your trial? I went to the FBI to report the criminal complaint that I had filed against Philip Rakopowitz, James Backstrom, and Catherine Kena, all Dakota County attorneys. Was that your first complaint or your second complaint that you filed against the Dakota this County? This was the second complaint. Okay, and mm -hmm. why were you going to the FBI instead of uh, like uh, where you reported the, the complaint? Because I've had no response from the uh, Hastings, Hastings Police Department and... In fact, they didn't even want to acknowledge receipt of your complaint, isn't that correct? Right, so I was forced then to travel there and hand deliver it to uh, Lieutenant? Lieutenant Joe Kegley. Right. And that was in June. Okay, but didn't you email a copy to uh, three separate people? Yes, so I sent that to uh, Brian Schaefer. The Chief of Police of yes. Hastings. Yep. Um, Gary Hurd with the Lawyers Professional Responsibility Board. And Brian Jones with the, uh, he was the District Court Administrator. For the First Judicial District. Mm -hmm. Okay, and of the three people that you sent your uh, complaint to, did you uh, receive any response from anyone? The only one I received a response from was Gary Hurd with the Lawyers Professional Responsibility Board. Okay, so then you requested your evidence prior to your first appearance at court, correct? Yes, so I but, started requesting that in December of 2015. Okay, but then because they didn't respond, that's what why you filed a criminal complaint yes. then? Yes, okay. so I filed that in February of okay. 2015. And that's what you're holding in your hand, yep. or the, the complaints yep. so that you my have? First, yes, so my first complaint was filed February 26th of 2016. Okay. And what else do you have in your hand there? Um, this is what I filed regarding my formal complaint against Chief uh, Long, Dakota County, Lake Lake Lakeville Police, and um, Deputy John Chief. Corm Cornman. Deputy Chief of Police? Yes. Okay. So that was my formal complaint filed against them. Okay. So what else do you have in your hand then? I have a second criminal complaint that I was forced to file because of no response. So okay. That's, that was the one. Um, I just filed that now on September 20th, and today is the 22nd. Okay. And again, my trial is Monday. Okay. And what else do you have there? You have one I more. I have uh, one more complaint. This is a witness tampering complaint. Okay. And this was attempted, I attempted to file this at Lakeville in person um, and recorded that. They indicated they did not have any officers to take a complaint. So I... But then, were there officers... There were officers present. You can actually see one behind there. <laughs> yes, there's, there's pictures of it. The audio and video. So anyhow, uh, you were actually supposed to testify at Sandra's trial then too? Yes, I received a motion for use immunity. I had a hearing okay. for that. Okay. Um, and that was prior, that was the week of her trial in July of 2016. Okay, did you actually testify at the trial? No. And I had that dismissed. I was released as a witness. Okay, and how, why were you released? I went to Brian Jones and had met with the district court administrator to report that I still hadn't received my evidence to prepare for trial or prepare for my testimony. So what you're saying is you brought him a copy of the complaint that he yes. willfully refused to acknowledge. Yeah. Okay. And then once uh, and then did you get a response from the chief judge then too? No. I received one from Catherine Kena. Oh, I'm sorry. From the from the chief judge didn't cuz that's oh, what you wanted. Yes. You wanted a complaint Filed, filed with the with chief him. judge. And yes. then did you get a letter from the yes, chief judge? Yes, Terrence Conkle. Yeah, so what did the chief judge say? Too bad, so sad. <laughs> that he wasn't going to investigate, yes. correct? It sucks to be Didi. Right, but but he did acknowledge the fact that you did file a complaint with the Hastings Police Department, yes. didn't he? 
It yes, specifically did. said that in the letter that he sent you. Yeah. And then, then you received something from Catherine Keena then. And that was a Did you receive voice message voice that said I was released from. So in other words, you didn't have to you didn't have to testify at Sandra Grazzini's trial because you were released from your subpoena right. and your use of immunity. Yep. Okay. So then you uh, you said you filed a second criminal complaint, and why was that? I filed that because I still, I've received some of my evidence. I received it at the beginning of September. Okay. And I still haven't received all of it. Okay. So you're aware that I do have both Sandra's evidence and your evidence, yes. correct? And mm -hmm. I did tell you that I put all your evidence on two DVDs and Sandra's evidence fit on one CD. Yes. Okay. So do you think Sandra received a fair trial if she received a fraction of the evidence that you received? Certainly not. <laughs> okay. So uh, apparently they think uh, that Sandra sh shouldn't have her evidence to have a fair trial then, right? Correct. And even the evidence she had, again, was disallowed for the trial. Okay. And um, let's see. Why do you think that they don't want to give you your evidence? They want me to plead guilty without ever receiving it. Okay. So do you think that was the same thinking with Sandra then too? Absolutely. Okay. Because you've been fighting... You said you you requested your evidence in December, and it's already September of 2016, and you still have all your evidence. So right. obviously, it's the it's not because they think that they have a solid case on you, correct? Correct. Because if they had actually had a solid case, wouldn't they just shove that evidence they down your throat? Had that the next day. Right. So apparently, this isn't a case that they really wanted to prosecute to start with. Is that exactly. what you're saying? Absolutely. Okay. Okay, so then you went to the FBI today because you felt like you were victimized by local law enforcement, that's what you're trying to say? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so. because when you go to the Lakeville Police Department to try to file a complaint, did you get any service there? I did not. You just got... The big heave hole. Right. So in other words, all they, they want to do is harass you Absolutely. And, and intimidate you. Is that what you're trying yeah. to say? So that's why you decided to leave the, the Dakota County fishbowl and go talk to the FBI, right? Correct. Okay. Do you actually believe the FBI is going to do anything? I don't. Okay. And why do you think that? I don't trust any agent at this point at any level because no. I've not received any assistance. And it's just... Well, wasn't the uh, U.S. Marshals Service part of yes. the raids at your home Absolutely. and things like that? I so did you receive evidence from them? No, I did not. Okay, so essentially the federal agents are the same thing, whether the FBI or U.S. Attorney, or U.S. Marshals, right? right? So if one doesn't give you the evidence, you're sure that the other isn't going to give you the evidence either, right. right? So if Dakota County didn't investigate this, or the Hastings Police Department didn't investigate this, or Lake, the Lakeville Police Department didn't uh, investigate this, then you really have no reason to believe that the FBI will investigate it, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Okay. So, but the thing is, you've been doing an education program? Yes. Okay. And what were you been trying to educate the people? Um, that you can't trust any arrest or trial or conviction in Dakota County, and that these girls have... Um, made statements to the police, to the judge, uh, to the guardian ad litem, to child protection. Okay. Some of the evidence that was withheld from you is uh, that police report that you have in your hand right yes. now. And what mm -hmm. does the police report say that the girls thought of the, the court procedure that they were subjected to? Um, it said, the girls told me that they had experience with the therapist that they were mandated to see before they ran. Uh, they also told me the guardian ad litem was never concerned about their thoughts or feelings. They said the guardian ad litem asked them questions about where their mom was hiding their money and wanted to know if she was putting the money overseas. The girls stated no one ever listened to them. Okay, so the reason why you read that is why? To show that the girls ran away, and they ran away because of the corrupt courts, and that no one's listened to them, and they've tried every avenue at every level to get the protection they need. They don't want to be with their father. They wanted to be out of that home. They're fearful of him, and they ran. 
So did they receive any protection from the judge then? They didn't receive any protection. Okay, sorry. They received more than harassment. Okay, so have you received protection from the judge that's trying you? No. Okay, so you we can easily say then that they're receiving the same kind of treatment, or you're receiving the same kind of treatment as the girls did that Absolutely. ran away, the, the, the rookie girls. Absolutely. Okay, they didn't believe that they were going to get a fair hearing, and they ran. Right. Okay? Instead of running, what have you been doing? I've been trying to file complaints and trying to get the public educated about how this, how you cannot get anywhere in the court system by playing by their rules because there are none. There's no rule of law that's being adhered to. Right, because even when you file criminal complaints, it doesn't seem to phase them too right. much. Okay, right. but it did seem to uh, get their attention where it took you out of testifying for Sandra's yes. case. So apparently if you think differently, well, you've been told to get an attorney, correct? Numerous times. Okay. Would an attorney suggest that you file criminal complaints against the Dakota County attorney? Absolutely not. Would he, an attorney suggest that you go to the FBI and report? Absolutely not. Okay. So obviously the only way you can win is by not following the rules which they say that you have to follow, correct? correct. Okay. And the, your best defense so far has been your education program, you'd yes. say? Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, is there anything you want to say further? Just this is can happen to you. This is how it's done, people. And I'm not going to follow my being led to slaughter and getting convicted. Okay. Well, Dee Dee, thanks for your time. Yes. And uh, talk to you later. Okay. Bye now. Bye-bye. Um, but no, can we get your card, though? No, you can't. You can just say you visit the FBI at, in the St. Cloud office and present the information. Do you have a name? Yes. Can we get your name? You can say you talked to the duty agent at the St. Cloud FBI office.